Hey everyone, find yourself wondering about characters from the Revolutionary Army in One Piece? Well, new characters from the Revolutionary Army, the outfit that Luffy's dad, Dragon, leads, they have been unleashed on the world as of chapter 904 of One Piece. So let's talk about it. The info in this video is relevant up to May 14th, 2018. Anyway, we know a bunch of characters that are already in the RA. We've got Dragon, Hack, Sabo, Ivankov, Koala, and a bunch of other small guys. But now we can add four commanders to that list these guys have rank and they fall under Sabo they are Morley the West Army commander and a giant Bello Betty the East Army commander and the only woman among the commanders Lindbergh the South Army commander and a mink and Karasu the North Army commander and the one that we actually had a good look at before he was the guy Sabo rode on back in Dressrosa they were showcased helping an island kingdom defend themselves from a group of pirates that fell under Blackbeard on their own way to a big meeting. These four were successful in repelling a 50 million belly bounty pirate, Peachbeard or Pinkbeard depending on the translation. Anyway, going into the character details, Morley is a giant, a character dressed or barely dressed with a character gimmick revolving around him being freaked out at people staring at him. Geez, I wonder why. His devil fruit was showcased and it's very interesting. It seems to combine aspects of Pika's devil fruit in the stone manipulation and Senor Pink's devil fruit in the ability to move through the ground. Morley can soften the ground and move it around. Using this, he can attack enemies by moving the ground around and he can also move through it since he initially showed up springing from underground. He uses his trident in conjunction with the whole ground movement, so his and it makes it kind of look like his trident is the thing that's pushing the ground around, but we can also see it's, it's coming from his body in general. Next we have Bello Betty. It seems like Bello Betty is borrowing an outfit scheme derived from Smoker and Smoker and Tashigi's body with her top. Uh, like this kind of style, we kind of already saw it from Smoker before. In chapter 904, uh, Bello Betty shows a trait where she seems to like using reverse psychology, but it might just be in the moment as a way to rally people. That might be her rallying strategy. She does focus on the idea of people being able to help themselves out, but that may be because her devil fruit power itself is one that unlocks people's hidden strength. She inspires people. That's kind of like an opposite of Perona's power. Anyway, through Bello Betty, we do understand some of the rhetoric that the Revolutionary Army generally uses with uh, the civilians. They want the civilians to rise up along with them, and they will give them the strength to stand up to their oppressors. Next up is Lindbergh. Uh, this guy's covered in gadgets, such as a cold gun and a jetpack. He's named after an inventor, and really, uh, there's not much else I can say about him at this point in time. Finally, we have Karusu, and he's pretty funny. He can't speak very loudly, so he has to wear a Plague Doctor mask with a loudspeaker in it, and you know, it kind of goes on with his motif of crows. His Devil Fruit power is by far the strangest among the four. He has a cloak made of crows, and he can himself turn into crows and attack or disperse. Uh, the Devil Fruit is breaking a lot of rules when it comes to trying uh, to classify it, but if I were to guess, I'd say it's an awakened Paramecia or maybe some variation of an awakened Zoan. Uh, I'm definitely be betting on an awakened fruit though because he's producing crows and he can also turn into crows. That's kind of a weird combination of things. Anyway, one last thing to note is the headgear on three of the commanders, a hat with goggles. This is no doubt a symbol of their loyalty to Sabo, especially prominent with Bello Betty. I mean, like, why wear goggles if you're already wearing sunglasses, right? But no, uh, the hat and goggles, that is Sabo's thing, so they're most likely trying to emulate him. I think it's a pretty neat little way of showing how characters are aligned within the Revolutionary Army. Anyway, uh, those are the four new characters from the Revolutionary Army. What do you guys think about them? Do you think, how do you feel about their personality traits? They are all very weird. Well, mostly morally, but you could say, well, it's Dragon. Uh, Dragon is Luffy's father. It makes sense that he would also have uh, some kind of weirdness to his own organization. Anyway, these four characters, they're usually split, but now they have been brought together for the events that are currently ongoing in One Piece. So that'll probably be exciting. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think of those new characters down below. Until next time, I hope you have a great day.